Hey, welcome back. It's your man Wise. And today I have a few videos to share with you guys. These are sisters that are out here repping hard for President Donald Trump. Before we get into the video, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Drop me a comment down below. I appreciate all the love and support. Let me know where you guys are watching me from. I appreciate all of y'all. Texas, Alaska, UK, New Zealand. I really appreciate the love, man. Not only just from around the country, but from all around the world. I am learning that this election means so much to so many people, not only just here in the States, but all across the globe. And I appreciate you guys supporting my channel and supporting what I'm doing out here in these YouTube streets. Without further ado, let's get into the video. I made a video asking people to convince me to vote for Joe Biden. And instead of trying to convince me to vote for Joe Biden, they said all the terrible things about Trump, how Trump was a terrible president, why people shouldn't vote for Trump, how he's a racist, which had nothing to do with me being convinced to vote for Joe Biden. And of course I got called her usual name, sellout, uh, uneducated, coon, you know, everything they come up with when their feelings are hurt. But let's talk Trump. Unlike the people who support Biden, I can give you reasons to vote for Trump. Number one, he's a capitalist. Letting you know that he believe in people making money to take care of their families. Okay, while he was in the office for four years, there were no wars up on the Trump. Military was strong up on Trump, and he helped recreate, or at least he created, the Space Force. The borders were more secure. The country was more secure. He made a peace treaty between Israel and Sudan. He's the first sitting president to go into North Korea, showing strength from the United States of America. Under President Trump, he passed a law with streaming service had to give rappers and artists money every time their songs were down low. Under President Trump, gas prices were lower, food was on the shelf, parents didn't have to worry about looking for baby formula. Under President Trump, he gave opportunity zones to people with low income. He gave parents school choice, which which was better for their children. These are just a few things President Trump did, okay? Now, under President Trump, he also took us out of the Paris Accord and the WHO organization where they was making all this money. Let's be for real, because they was making underhand deals and making money. These things happen up under President Trump. See, when it comes to President Trump, I can give you reasons to why you should vote for him. Unlike you telling me about Biden, Trump, 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 Trump. Talk that talk, sister. Oh, man, she got more to go. She got more to say. But goodness gracious, hey, President Donald Trump, if you watch this, please get this sister on a campaign ad of some sort. These are the kind of people that you need out there speaking for you. It's regular people. It's black women like this lady right here and the ladies that will show uh, right after this. So if you want to talk, let's really talk about Trump. OK, I'm the President Trump. Unemployment was the lowest ever for minorities, women, and black. Under President Trump, he gave HBCU 10-year funding, something no other president did, not even Barack Obama, who was a black president. Mm. Okay, so let's talk Trump. We can talk Trump. We can talk Biden. I don't have to try to talk Biden when we're talking about Trump because I can give you reason to talk to vote for Trump, but you can't give me one reason to vote for Biden. OK, so let's get into racism because y'all want to say, oh, Trump is a racist. He had those five. He, he wanted those five black boys in uh, on death row. Yep, I agree with you. He made a decision call based on a judgment that was against those boys. Do I think that was right? It doesn't matter what I think was right now. But let's talk about Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris was a D.A. who knowingly put an innocent black man on death row and hid the paperwork to get him out of jail. So when you want to talk about death row, let's not forget about Kamala Harris. Mm. Okay, let's not do that now. Let's be honest about it. Now, you want to call Donald Trump a racist. How is he a racist when he dated a black woman for two years? How is he a racist when he had condemned white supremacy even way before he became president? See, y'all need to get your facts straight. So I can give you reasons to why you need to vote for Donald Trump. But every time I ask you to convince me about voting for Biden, the only thing you come up is negativity about Donald Trump. They can't. They can't stand on his policies or as the young people say, when it comes to Joe Biden, they can't stand on business because his policies are terrible. And to be honest with you, they would prefer you guys to never ask about his policies. They just want to give you identity politics. Oh, Kamala Harris is a black woman. Oh, we got the first uh, trans whatever. And oh, we got the first uh, black whatever. 
That's what they do. They can't stand on business with these policies. So they give you tokens. That's all they do. That's all they have because their policies are terrible. And if they actually had to go down the list of the policies that they believe in and that they want to implement, most people would say, X to the no. Let's get into the next video. Because he's very patriotic. He yes. loves yep. this country. Mm -hmm. He loves America. Yep. Yes. And he loves yep. Americans. Yes. Here's my last thing. I want everybody to make sure that you vote right so you won't get left. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> vote red. R-E-D. Remove every Democrat yes. by voting them out. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. I'm silk with diamond and silk. And I'm yes. usually the quiet one no. and the silent one, but you know silent can be violent. Okay. <laughs> Allow me to say this first. I want to say thank you for allowing me, as a black woman, a seat at the table. That's right. Yes. You know, yeah. because this would not have happened under Obama administration. Right. It happened under Trump administration. That's right. true. You know, they always say, Mr. President, that, well, he's a little rough around the edge. Mm -hmm. nice. Come on, girl. But I always <laughs> reply back and letting them know that we need those rough edges mm -hmm. to cut through all of the BS yeah. that's Ooh. going on on the Hill in Congress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We need somebody that's not going to go along just to get along with some smooth edges. We need somebody that don't have a problem with going toe to toe against the status quo. That's right. That's right. And that's exactly what you did, Mr. President. We're in the middle, Diamond and Silk is in the middle of writing a book, Uprising, The Awakening of Diamond and Silk. You know, when I, when, while we're writing this book, there's little things that's coming back to us because we've been in this since 2015 mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. from day one. Mm -hmm. And when, as we're writing, I'm looking at a lot of different things. Mr. President, we've come a long way. Yes, a long ways at winning, winning, That's and right. winning. Yes. And you know what? They say this, they sing the song, I don't feel no ways tired. Yes. But I haven't got tired of winning. <laughs> President, I love you from the bottom of my heart. Yes. And November the 3rd, 2020, you will be the president of the United States. You know, uh, my wife, the first lady, said, this is a long time ago now. It's like four years ago. Yeah. She said, uh, there are two people that she was watching on the internet. They're the most incredible two people she's ever seen. Wow. And I said, big deal. What is it? Now she said, you have to see this. And I saw it, I guess, for almost five years. Wow. And wow. I watched them, and they had such a spirit. Mm -hmm. And they were for me before I was even running. <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they were so early. Wow. And you have been such great friends. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate, it. So I appreciate it. it. And Candace, I, I will say that you're another one. Yeah. She saw you, too. She said, I just saw somebody with the fastest, sharpest mouth and mind, by the way. You know, I know a lot with fast mouths, but they don't have them. And uh, I said, let me take a look. And I looked. Yeah. And it was a long time ago already. You were really young. You're young. You were really young. But we appreciate it. We appreciate everybody in this room. And people have made such progress, and we're making tremendous progress. You know, something that happened recently that the press doesn't write about, but uh, every year, a group of wonderful people from the black colleges and universities would come up to my office. A lot of people, 40, 35, 50 one year. And after the second year, I said, how come you keep coming back? Mm -hmm. And they came back for money, Gideon, money. Mm -hmm. And I said, why do you have to come back? Other colleges have money. You don't do, you don't come back every year. And. Uh, one of the gentlemen who was a great guy from one of the schools, good school, very good school, he said, we come back because we have to, because we need money, and we come back, and other schools don't have to, because uh, we, they want us to come back every single year, and they want us to beg. He used that word. They want us to beg. And I said, because I was straight, you know, it was the first year they came, and I didn't make anything unusual the second year. And they come into the Oval Office, and a uh, big group, uh, I heard of almost every one of the colleges mm -hmm. and universities. And after the third year, I said, you know, you shouldn't have to be coming. And I, well, I'll miss you if you don't come. 
because they're very good people, I said, you should have a long-term deal. You shouldn't have to come back here mm -hmm. like this. It's demeaning to you. Mm -hmm. yeah. He said it is. We love being in the Oval Office, but nobody's ever had us in the Oval Office before. Wow. Wow. But it is demeaning to us to come back. And, and we just passed a bill yes. where they're all set. Yes. They got the money, yes. and it's long-term. Yes. Well, you don't have to see me. I'll miss them. Yeah. I'll miss them. And they'll miss me, but yeah. you know what? Now they're all set, and they have a long-term future. They were Thank saying you. things like, we can't even fix up areas, even if we have the money. Right. Because we're not sure that the next president, or oh, even right. you, mm -hmm. are going to approve it next year. Maybe, yeah. for some reason, you're not going to approve it. So that's one thing. And, you know, you've been hearing all about this. And they're very, they're a big heart of this nation. That's, they do a yeah. fantastic yeah. job. Yeah. Yes, they do. And they got to know a little bit. And I said, so we're going to fix that up for you, and we're going to do it. And we did it. I don't know what the length is, but it's very long term. Ten years. It's ten years. So for ten years. Future acts. So I don't know where I'm going to be in ten years. I probably won't be seeing them. But, but it was very. I thought it was very unfair. Wow. He was talking about the ten year deal uh, where he gave uh, HBCUs and locked them into a contract. Now you guys do know that. Uh, President Biden, that was one of the first things that he did. Uh, he went and rescinded that money and cut their funding uh, almost by 75 percent or so. And um, and then he turned around and they made up some form of deal to make it seem like they gave more money to the HBCUs. But a lot of the presidents at those HBCUs were upset behind it, but they wouldn't dare come out and say it before fear of retribution. So but everybody on the left, a lot of these mainstream uh, liberal media outlets have come out and said that Donald Trump is racist, but people that are racist don't sit around black people like that. And if a daggone sure wouldn't say, hey, why y'all keep coming up here? Let me lock this in for a while for you guys. I'm going to miss you, but y'all shouldn't have to come up here every year with your hat in hand begging for additional resources and funding. That shouldn't be the case. Barack Obama was in office for eight years, and he could have did this, and he chose not to. He chose not to. But a lot of folks, they made all types of excuses. This man was able to get it done. We need Donald Trump back. If we could vote today, man, it wouldn't be soon enough. This country is in shambles right now. It is a mess right now. And if you are looking at this, if you are someone that voted uh, for for the left and for Joe Biden this past time around. I don't hate you, but I hope that you see what is going on right now here in these United States of America and just make the right decision. You don't have to like the guy. You don't have to like his language. You don't have to like what you what you think he stands for. Just look at the policies. Go check out the video of Trump 47, the policies. Or just go to the website and read them yourself. And let me know what you think about those policies. Matter of fact, you don't even have to let me know. But just read it for yourself and ask yourself truthfully, can you get behind that? All I'm asking for you to do is look at the policies. Go do some research. You know what's going on right now. Things aren't great. Massive inflation. We have an invasion at the border. It's crazy. Crime is up all across the country. People are losing their jobs. Interest rates are through the roof. People are squatting in folks' homes now. It's awful, man. Just check out the policies for yourself. Don't listen to the rhetoric. Don't listen to the media. You, you, go look at the policies and read them for yourself and make an informed decision. And if you don't like the policies, that Donald Trump would like to implement, by all means, you have the right to vote for who you want to vote for. But I'm challenging you to go and look at the policies for yourself and make an informed decision. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe. Keep God first in your life, America first. And I'm going to catch up with you all next time. Peace.